guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is B, and of course, today's video is on a full face of ColourPop. That's right, you heard me, a full face of ColourPop products. And let me tell you, I am probably missing like maybe one or two items. So let's just get into this video. Okay, so I got this lovely little box this week. Monday actually let's get into it if you want to see what I got in here I picked up two of the no filter foundations I picked up the loose setting powder in translucent the perception palette collaboration that they did with makeup by Shayla so I'm I'm ready I'm ready I literally have everything in front of me and I'm very very excited and I tried to incorporate collaborations that they had with some youtubers which you know I I like to support the YouTube fam especially if it's somebody that I like to follow on YouTube so let's just get started with the brows because I am feeling very vulnerable right now and let, let, let's just uh, let's just get into this right right now I am using the Boss Brow in the shade Soft Black. I think this is a really, really great shade. I like this brow product for, I guess, like a more natural brow. But I find that the pencil is a little bit drying, which is not a bad thing. I just have to... Um, I just have to press a little bit harder than I would like. So. And I always like to do my brows first because as you can tell, I'm like wiping it away with my finger as I go. And I find that if I do my complexion first, I can't do that. And I just, every time I try to get to the spoolie, I can't. It's like broken or something. There we go. I don't actually like this fully either. It's too stiff. It's too short. And it's stiff. Like it's almost like it's not sp spiraled enough. I don't know. I do find that it breaks up any harsh lines. But then I have to go back and refill in a lot. Okay. So this eyebrow is my wonky eyebrow. It never wants to cooperate with me. So now I'm going to do this one. I'm going to work on the foundation. I got the shade medium 90 and medium 100. Had it set in my brain that I was going to get medium 80 just because it, I felt like that was the closest to my color match. But then ColourPop released like this chart and then it just it just threw me all off. So I was really scared. I panicked. I am a little bit more tan than normal. And I just don't think any of these colors are going to match me. But this is what it looks like. I am going to first try 90 on the back of my hand. And it's like a little twisty. It shows lock. And then when you twist it, it's unlocked. Okay, that makes me nervous. Okay, so here is a little dollop of 90. This is the shade, and I'm just going to, oh God, put that right there. So that is 90. It's, um, it's a little light, but I think it matches my neck a little bit. And this is 100. Oh God, this pump came out a lot. This is 100, and you can see that it's like super liquidy. Oh man, now I, now I don't know. So that's 90, that's 100. This is what they look like on the back of my hand. I think I'm gonna mix the two. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so on my dish right here, I'm just gonna put a pump of medium 100 and right on top of it I'm just gonna put medium 90 
And I'm going to get my ColourPop um, concealer brush and I'm just going to swirl it around on this pan. And I don't know how this is going to work. Alright, so I'm going to start with this side of my face first. I'm just going to apply probably a little too much, but uh, alright. That's how much I'm going to apply, and I'm actually going to use a brush on this side, and I'm using my Morphe E6. It's just a flat top brush, mm, and I'm going to stipple it into my skin. So actually, that's a pretty good layer. I like that a lot. Um, let me see if I can build it up on my forehead or just place it on my forehead. My forehead is the darkest part of my face. I don't know why. It's very strange. It gets dark first all the time. I think that looks really good color match wise. Mixing the two looks really good on in person and in camera, on camera. And the stippling motions actually makes the foundation look really nice. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do the Beauty Blender side or the sponge side. And today I'm going to use the Sonia Kashik. I love this sponge. I just recently picked this up. It is amazing. So I think the sponge side looks really nice. It looks pretty even and flawless, but obviously with the sponge you're going to get less coverage. So I can definitely tell it is less coverage. And um, honestly, the two pumps kind of covered my face. Okay, so next I am going to go in with some concealer and I think I'm going to use medium 30 and light 20 to just conceal and then do a little bit of highlighting. I don't do this often, but I just want to conceal a little bit right here. And then just do a little bit of highlighting. Just do boop, 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 boop. And I'm going to use this as my um, eyeshadow primer too. And I quite like how the, um, I look so crazy, how everything has been blending out with a brush. So I'm just going to use a brush for the concealer as well. I mean, I really do like my um, Sonia Kashuk sponge, but I just like, I don't know, I like the control of a brush. Just canceling out any colors, redness on my eyelids, and now I'm going to blend this in. Um, unfortunately on me, I do find that the concealer does crease on me, but it creases like on my waterline, which I think is very strange. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but I know that it just creases against my waterline. I do have this really deep wrinkle right in here. Of course that creases. My life would not be the same if it didn't. So, just getting right in there, up against the side of the nose, and then just blending it outward. I'm pretty concealed. And it looks really balanced. Like, really, really balanced. So I like that a lot. So next I am going to use the No Filter Powder. Off. And you get... You get... 5.8 grams of powder in this, which I think this is a great size. So it has this little sifter at the top, and I'm just going to close this back up and just kind of shake it out. I know that's incredibly dangerous, and then I like to tap it 
tap it like this and now you have the loose powder up here so it is considered translucent but it kind of has like this light cream color to it i am actually going to set my under eyes first with a fluffy brush so i'm just going to tap into this and knock off the excess and then just lightly well let me just make sure i'm nice and blended here and just lightly tap this right here to set my under eyes and my eyes so I'm gonna go a little I use or I try to at least use an incredibly light hand under my eyes because I find that if I am too heavy-handed there it looks cakey so I really really try to use the lightest touch and then I'll just set my eyes. I am a little bit more rough on my eyes, but that's okay. But yeah, my under eyes tend to get a little bit more crepey than the rest of my face. Okay, now I'm gonna get my damp sponge and I'm gonna dip into the top of it and just put some powder right here. just to bake my under eyes and then we will be right back okay so going into the perception palette i am going to first start off with the shade culture it's this shade right here and i'm just going to get a fluffy brush this is the morphe m441 this brush right here and i'm just going to pick it up and just go right into my I am not going to lie when I did this eye this shade stallion right here really freaked me out like it's a black shadow and um, it's a very deep black shadow and it has blue reflex in it which I thought was going to make it less intimidating, but no, that was a lie. Um, I got played. It's a black shadow. The reflex of blue doesn't really like pick up or really translate onto the skin. And that scared me like big time. So I'm going to try not to mess this up. And uh, I love that blue. This blue is freaking beautiful like beautiful okay so there is my crease on a luxie 227 blending brush i am going to very carefully pick up the shade stallion again it's this shade right here and look you can kind of tell that it has like blue reflex in it girl it ain't blue it's black okay and um, I'm just going to tap it off. But I need to match this side to this side. So I'm just a little nervous here. Like super nervous. Because it's like really pigmented. And I don't, I don't want to mess up this eye look at all. I'm going to cry if I do. So here we are. And I am just swiping back and forth and windshield wiper motions. I am just swiping left or right, just gently sweeping this color all in that crease and a little above just to kind of blend everything. I am going to go in again very lightly, knock it off. And do the same thing just to kind of build up the depth of the color because it is very dark on this side. Okay, not so bad. I am going to bring it into here just a bit because that's where the blue is going to sit. I got it under control. 
Okay, and with a little bit of glitter glue, I am, I always, or not always, but I'm really starting to enjoy makeup looks that, that require like, like really shimmery foiled colors. Um, I really like it having a glitter glue down just to give it like a nice sticky base to stick to. I also think that it helps it be a little bit brighter, maybe. So I'm just gonna put this all over my lid space and I am kind of going into the outer corner because I drug this color all the way onto the outer corner because I think it is beautiful. And we are gonna go into the shade, it's called 14. It's this really, really beautiful blue. And I'm just gonna pick it up on a flat shader brush like this. And I am, oh look, my eyelid's getting stuck. I am gonna spritz it with a uh, Mac Fix Plus. It doesn't need it, but it just, I mean, it's so freaking beautiful. Like I just can't, oh my God. And I'm not really a blue, blue sh eyeshadow type girl, like, at all. You know, I'm more into reds and bronzies and that stuff. But dang, this blue, I could not pass it up. Like, I didn't know what kind of look I wanted to do. I just knew I didn't, I could not do another bronzy look. So, I was like, you know what, screw it. Let's do this blue. And it is freaking beautiful I love it so much that's like one application y'all like look at that it's so vibrant I am gonna have to go back and touch this one up just a bit because the color kind of faded when I started blending things on top of it so it kind of got a little ashy but that was my fault with a morphe M505. I'm going to pick up the shade Played Out. It's this one right here. It's a deep, like, I want to call it like a deep dark brown with a little bit of red in there. And I'm going to help blend out these edges right here because I want them to look a little bit more blended, even though this side doesn't look too blended. But I want to make it look a little less harsh. And then I'm going to go back into my original blending brush with the shade uh, Culture. I'm not picking anything up. I'm just using what's left on the brush and I'm just kind of sweeping it here. Down in here just to help again blend this out. Let me go back into the shade. I'm actually going to just use my finger for this part. Okay, I'm gonna get some wing liner on, put, put on some lashes, and then we're gonna finish the rest of the face. Okay, so I have my lashes and liner on. I went really smoky, and actually in the inner corner and on my brow bone, I put this shade Unbothered. Oh my God, this is like the most beautiful white-based champagne with a hint of peach color I have ever used it looks so pretty especially in the inner corner it just when the light hits it just right it looks mm. so i would totally recommend this palette 12 out of 10 just do it it it's so good it's color pop quality it's really great i really love this shade right here i mean this is has to be my favorite shade out of the whole palette and september so 14 at September have to be my favorite shades right here just because they just look so beautiful. I've said enough. Just do yourself a solid and just get it. To proceed on with the face, I am going to use the shade After Party Bronzer. And I'm just going to warm up my face with this bronzer. Oh God. Oh God. warm it up so far everything is 
layering on top of the foundation really nicely. I don't have any problems. The powder set my face really nice. I liked that a lot. It's not making my skin look like the most flawless, but I don't have perfect skin and I didn't use like a smoothing primer. So, you know, what can I expect? And I've been dragging bronzer down the bridge of my nose just a little bit and then connecting it to my cheeks like this, just because I think I spoke too soon. They, th some, whatever, I think, I think my bronzer is pushing the setting powder into my pores and it's like making little pits in my pores. Ew. What the heck? That's weird. I've never noticed that. I just noticed it now. It wasn't there before when I was doing my eyeshadow. Strange business. Again, this was Afternoon Delight Bronzer. Okay, and for blush, I'm just going to go into my current favorite for since I purchased it. This is Bar Hopping Blush. And I'm just going to Hit up the cheeks right quick. And for highlighter, we're going to go into the Innuendo palette. I am going to use a shade that I haven't used out of this palette yet. And it's the shade Morning After, which is strange because I've actually used um, all of these other ones before Morning After including this purpley one but yes i'm going to go into morning after and i'm going to use a fan brush i'm just going to hit that right in there mm. it's got a nice little pinky shift okay i can dig it so morning after is going to go here on my cheek And down the bridge of my nose, I'm going to use Glad You Came, this white shade. I'm just going to tack, pack it right here and blend it out with my other fingers. Because your girl likes highlight. Duh. That's a strong nose highlight right there. Whew. Okay. And just to sweep around the my temples, I'm going to put Losing Sleep. I'm going to lightly, maybe in a, in a different brush. I'm going to use this Morphe M510 brush, and I'm just going to swirl this on in the pan. And I'm just going to lightly dust it here where my bronzer is at, just to kind of give my temples a little bit of a, a nice glow. Right above my eyebrows. Actually, that blended really well into the skin. I have picked out the I Love Seta E collection. I have all of them. I have all of them. Um, so I have the first three, which I think were these, uh, were these. Uh, Curvy, Mamacita, and 951. Oh my gosh, get it together. So these were the first three, these were the second three, and then she came out with a gloss, or maybe Arriba was by itself, so these are the second three. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to, I hate to say it, but I think I'm going to go nude, just because my eyes are blue, and um, I might actually use... 951 is my favorite like this is my favorite so I use it all the time I'm not going to use it I'm not using Mamacita because it's too dark so I'm also going to pull out Arriba because it's too red I might as well pull out uh, Coquette because that's a metallic lip so I am stuck with Curvy Alote and Softy, which I think I'm going to do Softy and top it with this gloss. It's a little bit more shimmier, shimmerier than this gloss. Or maybe I should do these two. I think I'm going to do these two. I changed my mind. So I'm going to use Curvy and Softy.
Okay, and I'm gonna give this just a minute to dry down, and then I'm gonna top it off with this really pretty gloss in Kirby, and it should tone down the shade just a bit. Kind of give it like, I don't know, an ombre look. Okay, all right, you guys, this is the final look. Let me zoom you guys in. So this is the final look using pretty much all ColourPop products. The only things that I used that weren't ColourPop were my lashes, the liquid liner, and the MAC Fix Plus. Literally everything else on my face is from ColourPop, which I really love. ColourPop, I love how they can make everything affordable and cruelty-free and is just it's a really good brand and you know, hey, ColourPop, if you're seeing this, call me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but no, I really love everything about this. If you guys want a try before you buy on the uh, no filter foundation, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm just probably going to do uh, maybe not a first impressions, but just kind of an overall review on this. So far, so good. I like it. It's only been on my face for just a couple of hours. So um yeah, if you guys want an in-depth review on ColourPop foundation, please let me know. If not, then I have nothing else for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this full face of ColourPop. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on your way out. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It's just click and click. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.